In this painting by David Goodsell, you are looking at the boundary of a cell. The blue and purple bits are the inside of the cell and the brown part is the outside of the cell. The green cell membrane separates the outside from the inside. The focus in this video is to understand how glucose molecules, shown as white specks, enter into the cells. A key player in this process is the hormone called insulin, shown as the yellow blob on the outside of the cell. When it binds to its specific receptor, the insulin receptor, it triggers a number of changes within the cell and a series of signaling steps happen that communicate the insulin binding outside of the cell to a number of proteins that tell vesicles that are sitting inside the cell to move outwards. The vesicles contain specific transporters called glucose transporters and it is through these glucose transporters the glucose will enter the cell. Once inside the cell, the glucose is either used up for energy or growth or stored in the form of glycogen shown as these purple branched structures. When there is an excess of glucose outside the cell, insulin is produced. The insulin binds to the insulin receptor on the membrane of the cell and begins a series of signaling steps that tell pieces of membrane within the cell called vesicles that have the glucose transporters in them to move out to the cell surface so that glucose from outside can enter the cell. Since insulin is critical for beginning the process of glucose uptake, if insulin is missing, the entire process of glucose uptake stops, the glucose remains outside the cell, and the cells are unable to utilize it. This is in fact what happens in type 1 diabetes, and the only way to treat it is to provide insulin by injection. Insulin signaling is a rather complex process involving many proteins that talk to each other inside the cell. If any of these proteins are either missing or not functioning properly, the signal that tells the glucose transporter to come up to the cell surface is blocked. The net result is the cell is unable to utilize glucose and can lead to type 2 diabetes or insulin independent diabetes. This name collectively describes all conditions where insulin signaling may be affected. It is often difficult to specifically diagnose the cause of type 2 diabetes. So the treatment focuses more on managing the overall blood glucose levels within a narrow range than identifying the actual cause of the condition. To learn more about insulin and diabetes in molecular detail, visit PDB 101.